Hi, all my yarny friends. This is Julia at Dooley's Crochet, aka Julia. Today's episode is Show and Tell Friday. But before I get into that, I'm going to read a devotional. And it says, How much more? So a man from Bethlehem, with his wife and two sons, went to live for a while in the country of Moab. The milky Naomi's husband died, and she was left with her two sons. They married Moabite women, one named Opal and the other Ruth. After about ten years, both Milan and Kilian also died, and Naomi was left without her two sons and her husband. Ruth chapter 1, verses 1 and 3 through 5. How much more can a person handle? Maybe you've had that thought for the dear family that always seems to be on the church's prayer request list for a much-loved friend, a dear relative, or even yourself. If so, welcome to the club. Naomi is probably a card-carrying member as well. How much more would God give her to handle? Naomi's story started in Bethlehem, house of bread, where there was ironically famine. Her family fled to Moab, a land occupied by non-Jewish people, whom Jews were not to marry. Naomi's husband died. Her sons married Moab women. Her sons died. How much more can a person handle? Times like this enabled us to know the Lord's grace in a new, usually more suitable way. That was true for Naomi. What has God revealed to you about himself during your how much more can a person handle seasons? <clears throat> okay. For the show and tell part... I finally finished my knit blanket, but what I did was I added crochet with knit. So the body of it is knit, but then I did my border all the way around. I did one row single crochet, and then I did a row of half double crochets. Or I did two rounds of half double crochets and single crochet. And then I put beads all around it. <clears throat> different colors. It's an edging I found on YouTube, but I can't remember. But I put different color beads, glitter beads, and a lot of purple. And then I like a metallic purple. But they're all different colors. I put orange and pink. <clears throat> and... This blue, this one looked turquoise, so it kind of matches the turquoise in this. Let's see. That right there. I was trying to match it up pretty good. So, and the peach I did with uh, the orange, which is here. And then the cream color... I did purple. I think that's all the colors I used. But I will show you again. Maybe you can see the border with the beads on it. There we go. It's like a pico border with beads. But he liked my crochet and knit, so I thought I would just combine them both. I think it looks pretty good. This is, I did cut it a little bit short because I have other Christmas presents to make. So I'll make it like she can put it on the back of her couch. And I started, my son, I asked him, I thought he was wanting Michael Myers. And my groomy look alike, but he didn't. So he told me to. He wanted Bride of Chucky because I did Chucky last year. And this pattern is by Rhonda Butler. And I will leave it in the description box 
and you can go visit her channel. But it's no sew except for the arms. So you do the arms first and then you do the head and then you crochet the arms into the head. And now I'm working on her dress part. And that's the top of her dress. And then I have to fold it down. And there's back. She had to go in the front loops. And then you go in the back loops. And that makes. Like this is a collar. And the dress. <coughs> excuse me. The dress comes down. From there. And then you do the legs. And she's going to have a jacket. And. I'm not using any kind of Pacific yarn, but I've got the Care and Kindness is the white. And I saved a blanket from the thrift store. And it's, to me, it's like the skin color. So I'm using this for the skin color. And I got a yellow that I'm going to use for the hair. And black, the anti peeling yarn mainstays from. Walmart that I just bought, I think, last week that I showed. I'm going to use it for the jacket. And I think the... I think the boots has it, too. So... But I will link her in the description box. And most... I think all of her patterns are no-so. And she's got a lot... A lot of good... Amigurumis. Like, she's got Devil and Care Bear and um, Michael Myers and Jason and Scream. And she just uploaded one for the little man on Saul that rides the bicycle. And I took a screenshot because my son loves those movies. And I took a screenshot and I sent it to him. He says, I like that one. He said, will you do that one too? I said, well, if I have time, I'll make that one. And the Bride of Chucky to go with your Chucky. But I have two more Christmas presents that I need to get done. So, I'm going to try my best to get to it. Because I know he likes that one. But the, she's got Michael Myers, Freddy, Jason, Scream. I know she's got a Devil. She's got Chucky. The Bride of Chucky. And I can't remember. I mean, she's got a lot of them. And if y'all like to make them and you don't want to no sew, like some of y'all say that y'all don't like sewing on the pieces, this would be a awesome one to check out. Because she's got all different kind of dolls and stuff. So if y'all want to, go check her out. And it's Rhonda Butler, and I will leave her in the description box. And uh, I would appreciate it if you would... Uh, like and leave me a comment and maybe subscribe I uh, hope everybody has a awesome weekend and I will see you on Monday bye bye